What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Halloween ends. We'll be talking about Chucky. We'll be talking about Megan. And we'll be talking about this new upcoming live action Goosebump series. So just to kick it off with Chucky. Don Mancini made it seem recently in a new interview with Collider. He made it seem like he wanted to do a Chucky cinematic universe if fans allowed to occur or that he at least would be open to that. So again, he had this interview with Collider recently and stated that he believes the current TV series that we know was in its second season at this very stage. He says he thinks that that has reinvigorated the franchise, bringing a wave of new energy, not to mention fresh meat to the story we so know and love. Uh, he then went on to say that he's really enjoying his time shaping the story of Chucky for episodic viewing, but does see the carnage eventually returning to the big screen. I would also like to do more movies, he says, because I would love or because I love movies, too. And I think, you know, I think they're not mutually exclusive. And then he says that his dream would be to see the stories flourish on both the small and big screens, just as Marvel characters can potentially exist in both media. Um, I'd honestly rather an ending point for this to be found along the way if that's the case with this the, because you what you could do is a standalone film to close out the series but if if they can find a way to keep it going then I guess just do what's best for business all in all if Chucky and the Child's Play IP can continue to remain consistent like this and remain relevant to the point where there's no end in sight I can see a lot of people then wanting to maybe turn off the franchise and say I'll come back when it finally ends because the recent revival of Chucky since 2013 has been very enjoyable but I know I'm someone who always just likes when you know how to go out on a high note and not just keep on doing it just because you can case in point like Fast and Furious or other IPs so Child's Play Don Mancini it's in safe hands I hope that we get a solid conclusion to Chucky at some point but just to jump into this next bit of news regarding Halloween ends. Jamie Lee Curtis has once again hyped Halloween ends by teasing the ending in a new interview with The Guardian and kind of again just revealing Michael's fate in the process. She also shared thoughts on what she thinks happened to Lori after that 78 original. I think she's done this in the past many times. But she said, I think she went straight back to school on November 1st. I think people bandaged her arm and figured they've been they'd been done enough. Uh, they'd then done enough so no discussion no therapy this was the 70s after all i think the expectation was that everything returned to normal again that is something that i think is very realistic for the times and also i guess considering where it happened at if michael was the only isolated incident from 63 then this would just be another isolated incident in 78 so they might Haddonfield seem to be I guess a town where not a lot of criminal activity occurred so then that is an appropriate response from people in town like that I guess even though Lori herself ended up suffering for the past 40 years as we know and I again wholeheartedly think that she has already mentioned this in several other interviews but I like that mentality that she has about Lori I do also agree with that I think that's exactly what happened to Lori she never had anything really explored as far as her mental state and that's clearly evident in how, in how she has decided to live her life over the past 40 years so she also apparently stated the ending of halloween ends is an echo of the original film's first scene so does she mean we see the movie in from Lori's pov and like maybe a road ahead of her after she kills michael myers i guess we'll find out soon i know rohan campbell and andy matishak have started appearing in some nice press footages or images that have been circulating over on reddit kyle richards is doing press currently so we'll get to learn a lot about halloween ends this week because this is the week it will arrive in theaters and on peacock i'll be seeing the movie on wednesday can't have my review posted till thursday afternoon so you have a review for me on thursday but let me know if you guys are excited for halloween down in the comment section below just to jump into this next topic here we're going to be talking about Megan. So Megan, the new AI killer doll movie coming from Blumhouse in January is expected to have another test screening tomorrow, I guess. And shout out to you, Jonathan, for tagging me in this tweet over on Twitter. Now, I say another because it seems a test screening may have already happened a few days back. We know early this year, CinemaCon footage of the killer doll movie had been shown, but was never released online. But according recently, what I also found, according to the Alberta trailer rating system, a first trailer for the movie is ready to come from universal and it has like a two minute 21 second runtime i believe this was ready like october 3rd or 4th i can't remember the exact date but it was one of the very early days of october so i'm expecting this trailer to release this week ahead of the halloween ends release in theaters 
Megan we know is starring Allison Williams who plays a toy roboticist who uses AI tech to make this lifelike doll to emotionally bond with her orphan niece played by Violet McGraw I assume the doll's tech makes the makes it overprotective and there are some terrifying results now the footage that was apparently shown at CinemaCon was something that pleased a lot of people so I can't wait to see this first look at Megan I know we also had our first poster release earlier this year where people saying she looks like one of the Olsons and <laughs> just saying she looks like Wanda so those are some nice comments and hopefully we will have something that can rival Chucky in some capacity because Annabelle is not it I enjoy that Conjuring spinoff of Annabelle at least two out of the three but Annabelle is not good enough for me so just to jump into Goosebumps Justin Long has been cast in the upcoming live action Goosebump series and if you're confused because you grew up on that original show like me don't worry all they're doing is bringing this back to the small screen for a new generation Long apparently will be a series regular playing Nathan Bratt the new school teacher who develops a terrifying connection to a decades old supernatural murder this series is following a group of five high schoolers who unleash supernatural forces upon their town and must all work together thanks to an thanks to and in spite of their friendships rivalries and past with each other in order to save it learning much more about their parents teenage secrets in the process this sounds very much in line with i guess that movie from 2015 and its sequel so that might make or break anyone who's interested in this justin long obviously is going to be something that would get me to instantly at least check it out i think this is supposed to debut on disney plus at some point but uh i'm a big fan of that original goosebump series i do enjoy the movies but i do wish that what we had was like maybe something that was more like an i think you could do an anthology film series like maybe in the style of vhs with um those robs with not robs on with the rl stein stories being adapted into just film format short films now portrayed in some anthology type of type of film i think you could do something like that i don't see how that wouldn't work uh and again i find the 2015 movie to be enjoyable and it's not a bad movie i just i just would prefer them to go back to like a style of that original show so we'll see how this series ends up being but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video